Hi everyone, in this problem we're being asked to find a function f of xy, which is equal to ax plus by plus c, if we have these conditions here. This is called a linear function of two variables, and we're being asked to find it, again, assuming we have these conditions. Let's go ahead and work through this problem. So I haven't done this problem yet, um, but I'm thinking it shouldn't be too bad. So we have, we have this, and we need to come up with a, b, and c. So right away, I think we can get C if we use uh, this condition here on the right, F of 0, 0 equals 5. So let's take 0, 0 and plug it into this function. So we have F of 0, 0, and that would be equal to A times 0 plus B times 0 plus C, right, because the X and the Y are both zeros, and then it's equal to 5, so we set it equal to 5. So 0 plus c, right, these are both 0, so you get 0 plus c equals 5. So we have c equals 5. I'm going to put that in a box because that's super important. So now we have c, we just need a and b. So these other two conditions should give us uh, the a and the b we want. Let's use this condition now. So taking the partial of f with respect to x, we should get 3. Let's see. Differentiating ax with respect to x, the a is a constant, and so the derivative of x is just 1, so we just get a. Right? It's like a times 1, so it's a. When you differentiate with respect to x, every other variable is a constant. So all of this is, the y is constant, the b and c are constants already, so all of this is 0. So plus 0 plus 0. And that's equal to 3, it says. So that means a is equal to 3. And last and not least, let's do del f del y. So now um, all of the x's are constants. When you differentiate with respect to y, all of the other variables are constants. So the derivative here of ax will be 0 plus the derivative of y is 1, and the b is a constant, so it just hangs out. So you just get b times 1, which is, which is b. And the derivative of c is 0. And this is equal to, looks like, negative 2. So we have b equals negative 2. So now that we have a, b, and c, we can plug them back into our uh, function to get our answer. It's pretty cool. f of x, y is equal to, so a is 3, so we get 3x, kind of a nice problem, uh, minus 2y, and then c is 5. And that would be the linear function of two variables that satisfies uh, these conditions. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.